Hello and welcome to Svelder Gaming, and this is my tutorial slash guide to copying emblem codes into Battlefield Companion Emblem Editor on PC. Or for short, um, beef. The sea is silent. Whatever, moving on. So starting off, I would like to apologize in advance to some of you that this method might not be doable for you. And the method itself will work, but the emblem you wanted may be close to unfixable when all is said and done. Now if you're a little confused, keep watching and it will make sense when you see the method I have. Now I encourage you to watch this entire video through the first time just to really see what I mean. So if you found this video, then more than likely you have come across the infamous undefined error for Battlefield Companion Emblem Editor. Now if you're not sure what I'm talking about, let me explain. If you're anything like me, you'd like to have a really cool custom emblem to go along with a really cool kill you just got on Battlefield 1 but you also don't want to take the time to have to make one of your own or you just lack the emblem creating skills to put a cool one together and that's not an insult. I'm totally in the same boat there. So you do some digging on the internet and come across the website emblemsbf.com where tons of emblem creators have posted the codes to their custom emblems so other people can use them too. So now that you found an emblem you really like and for this example I'm going to use the one that I actually used. And it's this one here. So you found the emblem you want. Go ahead and copy the Battlefield 1 code to your clipboard here. Go over to your Battlefield Companion. Start a new emblem. Go to your console, which for Chrome it's Control shift j I'm not sure what it is for other browsers, but it's not too hard to find. Go ahead and paste that in there and click Enter. And there you go. Obviously it isn't working. But there's a little error message here that says www.battlefield.com says error. Thank you. And to make it even better, down here in the console it says undefined. So what's the problem? I get this random error message in the word undefined in the console window and the error message might look different in other web browsers but it's the same idea. So if this is the problem you're having then here's why. Using a little knowledge I have in programming, I decided to try some stuff out. Generally, undefined in programming terms would mean there is some sort of reference in the code that isn't defined on the page. But let me simplify it even more. Say that you have some words on a page that are stated, like screwdriver, wrench, and ratchet. But this code includes the reference hammer. Since the page doesn't have this word defined, it doesn't know what to do with it. That's what undefined would mean. But how does that affect the companion app? Well here's what it boils down to. Somewhere along the line, the creator of the original emblem referenced an emblem part that you don't have. Now how is that possible? Well in Battlefield 4, you can unlock emblem parts from gold battle packs, so it could be an item from that. And I personally haven't played Hardline, but I believe it is the same thing there as well. But the whole undefined problem is the reason I put FIX in quotation marks in the title. Because as far as the problem goes, the only real fix for this problem is to unlock the emblem parts you're missing through Battlefield 4 and Hardline. And that's not really probable for a lot of us. So this video is more of a workaround, you could say. Now there's two ways you can work around this undefined error. The first workaround is to just try different emblems you like until one of them works and just go with that. And the second method, which is much more labor intensive, is to go through the code for the emblem you've chosen and remove the parts that you don't have. And that's what I'm going to be showing you. So here we go. Again, I recommend watching this all the way through the first time so you can see what you're getting into rather than trying to follow along because there is a lot. Go to the website where you copied your code and copy it and take it over to some sort of text editing software like Microsoft Word or LibreOffice, which is a free Microsoft Office spin-off, you could say. Let's bring it over here. Paste it. Okay, so there is my code. I'm just going to leave this here for now because I will be using this later. So, now that I've got that, go back to the companion app and open up a new emblem if you haven't already. Now, go to the emblem parts portion of the page, which is this section over here. Now, right click on the first part and click inspect or inspect element. So here it takes you into this side window and let me bring this up a little bit. 
All right, so what this blue portion here is what it highlighted when I opened it up. I'm just gonna go to this little triangle here, close that, and all I wanna see is this whole block right here. The only part of it that I want is right here, and it says Air Ground Attack Jet. That is the name of this emblem part in the code. So you go to the next block of text here, and this one says and. This is that second emblem part here. Do that for all of the ones on this list here. And these are all of the just base model ones for the emblem parts page. But if you scroll down on the emblem parts, you'll see something here, and that is battle packs. Now if you don't see that, then you haven't unlocked any emblem parts from battle packs in previous games like Battlefield 4 or Hardline. But this part here, this is actually in a different section, so you'll want to go to right click and inspect again, and it'll open up another section below the one you just did. Now this one says, for this first part, mine says Air Stealth Jet. So that's that first one in that list, so do the same thing here, write down all of these names. And you want to do it like on a separate piece of paper or in a Word document if you want. I did it on a piece of paper just so it was easier. I didn't have to flip through different Microsoft Word documents. But you're gonna to wanna to write down all the ones that you have there too. And once you're done with that, you can close the sidebar for now and go back to the code that you just pasted. This is the part that gets a little tricky, but I'll try to keep it simple for you. Hit Control F on your keyboard when you're in the, the Word document, and it should bring up like a little navigation or maybe on the bottom. If you're in LibreOffice, there should be a little search bar at the bottom. But you're going to look for the word Asset and click Enter. Now because mine is 40 layers, I have 40 results that say Asset. Now this word after Asset here, that is the name of that part in this block of text, the part that was used when making the emblem. When you find one that you don't have, backtrack a little until you see this little swiggly bracket here. And what you're going to want to do is, this whole section in between the swiggly brackets, that is that emblem part. So if you see something after this, after asset that says, you know, this one says I2, if you don't have that emblem part, you're going to want to delete that whole section. Take out this section here. And that's just everything in between the, the swiggly brackets, but you do want to get rid of that too. So, go through the whole list of parts that you have in yours and delete them. Now I've already done this with a different, so I don't need to save that. I can open up this here, which is my completed code. Once you've done all that, copy the new code you just made and then go back to the emblem editor. Refresh the page or start up the editor again if you backed out of it. Then go back to the console. So Control Shift J for people on Chrome. Now, paste the code that you just made into the console and click enter. It might pop up undefined for a second, which is mine just did. But give it a second and it'll load up this here. Now what you're going to get is a broken emblem that needs some fixing. As you can see, there is a lot of things missing from this emblem that I saw to this one here. Now at this point you should understand why I said to watch the whole video first, because you could potentially end up doing a lot of work to get to this point and still have a lot of work to do. Now one way to get an idea of what you need to fix is to copy the Battlefield 4 version of the code and take it over to Battlelog. So start up a new one, and this one's nice. You don't have to go to the console, just hit load code and paste it and hit OK. And there you go, it just makes the whole emblem for you right in front of you. Now as you can see, this one is complete. Reason being is because in the battle log app, you can see here all of the locked emblems are there, even all the premium ones. But the problem is, I don't have them unlocked, so if I tried to save and use, I can't do it. There's too many layers for one because it's premium, but also I don't have a lot of these unlocked. But by coming over here, you can see which emblem parts were used in certain places, and you can just click on them and just see, you know, orientation, uh, color, everything that was used to make this particular emblem part. 
Once you do that, you can kind of go back and forth between the two and compare what you have or what you don't have. Now back to the companion. This method can be extremely difficult depending on how many of these emblem parts you had to get rid of. On mine, I think I only had to get rid of 10 or so, and you can see on my screen, it wasn't too difficult to figure out which ones they were, but some of the emblems that you find may be almost explicitly all of the extra parts. So you may end up with only like 5 or 6 extra parts on your screen and no way to fix all the mess, and for that I am truly sorry. On your behalf, a uh, PSA to all you emblem creators out there, please try not to use as many of the battle pack specific emblem parts in future emblems. I know for certain emblems it's unavoidable because that particular emblem is part of the main focus of your emblem, say like this stealth jet here or the T-Rex, you know, that may be the main portion of your emblem. So I understand if you have to do that, but if you're making something creative like this where it uses a lot of just extra parts to make an image, please try to avoid using all the battle packs things and that's just for everyone else's uh, benefit. So again, I hope this video helped you out, and if it didn't, I'm really sorry, but before you hit the dislike button, leave a comment, let me know what you're struggling with, and I'll see if I can help. Again, I cannot apologize enough to you guys if it didn't work out for you. I totally feel your pain, and I wish I could help you more, but this is the way it is, and this is the only way I can think of to work around it. So thank you for watching, and if you'd like to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe as well. I put out content as much as I can, but I do work 40 hours a week, and it's hard to get in the time for editing and getting all this stuff together and writing as well. This video took a lot longer to write than I thought it would. Um, but again, thanks for watching, and you'll see me later.